In the wise words of the philosopher Michael Jackson, it don't matter if you're black or white. <laughs> It really don't, but today we're talking all about how to do some black and whites. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. I just said that twice. You can find me on Twitter at AK Nacer. Flurn's a family dedicated to helping you get better at Photoshop, photography, creating images, and uh, today we're doing all kinds of really cool stuff with black and white. So if you guys like black and white, uh, or even if you don't like black and white, you'll probably like today's episodes because it's really cool. Congrats to the contest winners from last week, Andy, Dan, Daniel, David, and Rajendra. You all did a wonderful job with your entries, and I'm going to talk about more how awesome you are in the comment below. But I want to get into today's episode because we got a lot to cover, and I want to bring the awesomeness to your world. How's that? So the reason why we're doing black and whites, guys, is, uh, well, we did color last week, and I thought, we, we haven't really done a lot of black and white on Flurn. And the cool thing about black and whites is you can really do a great job creating a lot more of an impact with your photos than sometimes you can do with color because color can get in the way. Like last week we talked about using saturation to make sure some colors didn't get in the way. But sometimes you just want to get rid of all the colors and that'll help draw the viewer's eye attention <laughs> to your subject. And that's what we're going to be doing here today and I'm going to show you guys different ways to do it. We've got some great images by Claire and I'm going to link to her below. And we're going to be doing a couple different filters on turning these into black and white. So we're going to start it off. I'm going to grab an adjustment layer and there are many ways to do this. We're just going to show you a few different tricks that I've learned. Grabbing an adjustment layer, the first one we're going to go to is channel mixer. And basically what I want to do with channel mixer, I'm going to hit this monochrome button up top here and that's going to turn it into black and white. Now, the cool thing about channel mixer is instead of just desaturating your image, you can really choose a lot um, starting with your red, green and blues. This is just going to change your input and output levels. So where like the blue channel is, for instance, you can choose to be either lighter or darker. Where this gets really cool, in my opinion, is when you can start messing around with your constant. And if you bring your constant really far down, but you can do still do things like bringing your red channel up. To me, this is basically the concept constant is like overall, like it's kind of like gamma. Is it like uh, it pushes it more towards lighter or more towards a little bit darker? But if you push it darker and then bring up reds, most of the time um, people's skin tones have a lot of red in them. So pushing up your reds is going to do a great job actually drawing attention to your subject. And you can play around with other things like the greens in your photos. Now, the one thing that's a little bit tricky when you are working with black and whites is if you start off with a color image, you have a lot of control over turning that into a black and white, like we're doing here with our reds, green, and blues. Um, if I grab another adjustment layer, let's say I grab a black and white adjustment layer this time, and start playing around with my reds and my greens and stuff, um, nothing's happening. And the reason is because there's already a black and white, I mean, this layer is already making your image black and white. So doing anything with this layer, it's like uh, you can't really even see what you're doing. So some cool tricks are basically you can combine these effects in different ways and you can use stamp visible layers to combine those effects. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, let's say that you actually like what's going on here. Oh, my pen's freaking out, hold on. Did it do it? <laughs> I threw my pen. If you guys watch Flurm often, which I know a lot of you do, I threw my pen like two weeks ago and it broke it. And now every now I have to get like drop my pen. So um, if uh, if you guys are curious on whether you should throw your walking pens around, don't do it. <laughs> so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to make a stamp visible layer here. So I've got my channel mixer. Let's just make a new layer. I'm going to hit shift option command E. And that is our stamp visible layer. So. I'm going to take that and just bring it above everything and make it invisible. Now let's use a black and white layer and I can choose different values here like grab my cyans or my greens and those apparently there are none or very little in my image. Let's say our blues. We want to just drag that down and we can see how dark this is making the, that area in particular right around those boards. And the reason why the blues or sorry, the greens and the cyans aren't really doing anything, um, is there really aren't many greens and cyans in this image. So it's only going to work with basically what you have in this image. So let's say you like parts of this black and white, but you also like parts of that black and white. Well, what you can do, because you can't really combine them in any other way, because if I made this black and white visible, this one doesn't do anything anymore. So what we can do is like the reverse combine. This is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to make another layer and then do another stamp visible layer with my black and white visible. Okay, so what we have are two stamp visible layers. Each of them has a different black and white layer applied to it. So I can take these now, and if I wanted to do something like apply a layer mask to one of these images, 
There we go. It's actually gonna show the black and white from underneath through this. And I can just kind of turn this off and say like, you know what, I like what's going on underneath it right there a little bit better. There we go. Oh, it looks so bad right there because I was painting on my layer. I was like, why does that look so bad? Make sure to click on your layer mask, not the actual layer itself. So what we're doing here, it's kind of cool. Basically like I'm selectively choosing the different types of black and whites that I want to put on this image. And doing this, it can really help create that effect of, you know, draw, helping draw attention to your viewer's eye. Now, if I make this invisible, we can see that this black and white layer really isn't visible over the whole thing. So you kind of have to build this effect on top of each other. All right, so we've done two of those and uh, I think this is pretty cool. Now, we can take this a step further in that we can actually apply a levels or a curves adjustment layer to this black and white after we've already chosen where like what we want to do with our black and white to help draw the focus or the attention right to our subject so let's try that i'm going to grab an adjustment layer we're going to go up to levels and i'm going to choose my output levels now your output levels this is where like your darks you define your darkest point so if you bring this black up it makes your darkest point just a little bit lighter there we go making that a little bit lighter and then we'll bring our lightest point a little bit darker so we can kind of get a slightly different effect in our image too. A lot of different things you can do with black and white. And there are so many people who are so good with black and white. And I don't, I don't do black and white a whole lot, but I really appreciate when I see a good black and white. So the contest for this week, guys, and I'm showing you guys basically really cool ways how to do it. The contest for this week, and again, we're going to choose five winners because I like choosing five winners. I like giving out Flare and Pros. Five winners, each of you who's going to create the best black and white images you're all gonna win a Florin Pro. And you can do it like this, you can do it another method. And if you have your own technique on making black and white, please share that too, it's gonna to be cool. So just make a black and white image. Um, hopefully it'll be your image, but um, the end goal I would say is just to make an impact, an emotional impact in your view. Because I think, to me anyway, black and whites can have a stronger emotional impact than a color image. And I don't, I don't fully understand why even, but I, I just feel black and whites a little bit more sometimes and I don't understand why. Maybe you guys do understand why that is or maybe you totally disagree. So tell me about that too. But five people who create the best, the best black and whites are gonna win. I'm gonna show you guys one more cool thing that I, uh, I just kind of discovered. And uh, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna grab my adjustment layer and I'm gonna go up here to our, you could do posterize and basically what this does is it takes the amount of levels that are in your photo and puts them into like solid colors. So you can change the amount of levels. Here at two levels, you just have black and white. Coming up a little bit, you're gonna get more and more and more levels until you get more and more detail. But I'm gonna stay something right about there. There we go. So we don't have a lot of levels in my image. And what I wanna do with this is something a little bit weird, but I'm gonna make a new layer above all this stuff and make a stamp visible of that too. All right, we're gonna make this posterized layer invisible. What I'm gonna do with this now, we're gonna to go to Filter, Blur, and over here to Gaussian Blur. And this is not a huge blur, just something like this. And what we're gonna wind up doing is basically exaggerating darks and lights in a kind of a cool blur method. And it's gonna give the photo kind of like an antique age, like really cool finish to it. So basically this is what it looks like. I know it's horrible right now, but we're gonna change this from normal down here to soft light. And it's just gonna give your image, let's just lower that opacity, there we go a little bit more like that cool kind of aged look. And if you don't like that level plus right, that might be too much. Let's just, let's bring this levels up just a little bit there. There we go. So we have a little bit more detail. Hit the up arrow here. All right, seven, let's try that one. Cause I don't want to tell you guys something that's cool and then have it actually suck in the episode. And then you're like, huh, nice job Aaron, teaching us something that actually sucks. There we go. And let's change this one to a soft light. Make sure you make that invisible. Cool, and I do like that a little bit better. So it just kind of gives you like that nice blurred effect, but again, it's gonna darken your shadows a little bit, up your highlights a little bit, and give you kind of like that that cool feel to it. And you know, here at the very end, if you wanted to, let's just make another stamp visible. You get a filter, noise, and then we'll just add some noise to it. Just a small amount of noise. Even if you add a lot of amount of noise, if it's on a stamp visible layer, you could just really knock down your opacity and um, oftentimes I find that noise can help a black and white photo just kind of give it a little bit cooler of a feel. So hold on, I'm gonna finish up. Guys, I can't wait to see your entries. I know you're gonna do an awesome job. Submit those black and whites. Five of you are gonna win a Flurm Pro. I'm out, I gotta go design a photo shoot and build a wardrobe and build, co Amelia, what else we gotta build? 
A collar. We have to build a collar for a photo shoot. We're going to be turning a girl's um, face from like white skin into really dark skin and just doing all kinds of craziness around it. And that's tomorrow. It's going to be great. Thanks so much for watching, Florian, guys. I'll see you later. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye. Get out of here. Whoa. Yeah. It don't matter if you're black or white. How did that song go? Don't look at me. I'm hideous. Don't look at me. I'm hideous. Boom. Did I do the episode? Is it done? Done. Is it done?